Every Diwali, firecrackers light up the sky, but sometimes they leave behind more than just sparkles. Severe burns from blasts or flame injuries needs more than first aid. They need critical ICU care. From fluid resuscitation to airway protection and wound control, every minute counts. Let's break down how we manage severe firecracker burns in the ICU, where saving skin often means saving lives. First is airway. Early airway assessment is critical. Early intubation is advised in inhalational injury if the airway edema is anticipated. Second is fluid resuscitation. Fluid resuscitation is guided by Parkland or modified Brooks formula, where half of the calculated fluid is given in first 8 hours and remaining half in next 16 hours. Goal is to keep urine output 0.5 to 1 ml per kg per hour. Third is organ support. Monitor central venous pressure and urine output. Vasopressors to be avoided early. If needed, noradrenaline is preferred. Fourth is nutrition and metabolic support. Severe burns induce hypermetabolic state requiring 1.3 to 1.5 times basal energy expenditure. Enteral feeding is preferred within first 24 hours. Next is wound care. Early wound excision and grafting reduce infection and mortality. Dressing material with silver impregnation is widely used. Next is infection control. As burn patients are highly susceptible to infection, strict isolation and barrier precautions are recommended and daily wound surveillance culture are essential. Next is pain and sedation. Analgesia require multimodal regime. Opioids with adjuncts like benzodiazepine and dexmedomidine are used for dressing and ventilator tolerance. Now temperature control. Both hyperthermia and hypothermia increase mortality in ICU. Maintain normothermia between 28 to 30 degrees Celsius and active cooling is preferred in refractory hyperpyrexia. Last is complications and organ support. ARDS, sepsis and AKI must be proactively managed with lung protective ventilation, early renal support and glycemic control. Stay safe and happy Diwali to everyone.